Hello, and welcome to Slightly Impressive Add-Ons. My name is Grifter, and we are playing an LFR because I wanted to do an add-on video because everybody constantly asks what add-ons I use. And I just want to have a video. I already kind of went through them in one of the Iron Man Challenge videos, but, you know, not everybody has seen those. It's like the second one, too, so, like, not all that many people watched it. It's just kind of weird to be like, go watch part two of Iron Man Challenge for the answer to that question. So, I want to have a video where I can just go through them all to answer that question for everyone. So, I'm doing an LFR because I wanted to be able to show you my raid frames. And I'm not going to do it in a guild raid because... That would just be crazy. I'm super distracted here. So, here we are. Uh, I guess the biggest thing that stands out is the big black screen. I mean, the big black bar at the bottom of the screen. And we're going to lose the tank because I don't know where he is. Great. Oh, 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 he's alive. Okay, great. And why did he go all the way over there? Alright, so, yeah, black bar at the bottom of the screen. This is going to be interesting. I didn't really think this through. How am I going to heal and talk at the same time? Okay, Sun Art is that add-on, S-U-N-N-A-R-T, and a lot of people probably look at that and say, why would you want to do that? That's stupid. You're covering up a big part of the screen there, but it actually resizes your game window. Beware. So I can actually see more of the screen because it makes it wider because it's all scrunched in like that. So, I mean, it's smaller, but I can see more of the game area, and if you have a big enough monitor, then it's not an issue. It's actually advantageous. And it's also just a nice way to put all the UI elements down here just outside of the actual game window so that it's just not cluttering things up. And, all right, so the next thing I guess we can talk about is my raid frames which is Pitbull 4.0 and I really like Pitbull it's not really necessary anymore to even have a raid frame add-on it used to be absolutely mandatory for healing because like the the old health bars for the raid were just terrible they were just tiny little things you barely see and it was just ridiculous it told you like no information at all uh, so I started, use, I started with Healbot and you know that works fine but I wanted more customization and I saw somebody who was using Pitbull and you can do anything with this it's really hard to set up like the configuration is strange and not user-friendly at all but once you figure out like the idea of it where you make you kinda you make templates and then you apply those templates to different frame types so I don't know if that makes any sense but it's it's just kind of confusing at first but once you figure it out you can do anything with it like mine are pretty boring looking I just like big fat easy to see health bars but I mean you could make them squares you could you could make the mana bar like on the left side going up and down you can make them like crazy looking shapes whatever like, you can do all kinds of stuff different sizes um, and you can change all the information that it shows. Like I have all these blue things. These are um, things that I can dispel. And the health bars that have turned red, that means they have aggro, so it's just really easy to see. And of course it shows all their, all the buffs that I put on people right under their health bar. So I like Pitbull. And all right. Oh, the, the bar at the top is Titan Panel, I believe it's called. It's just a nice thing. It has lots of plugins. You can get lots of other add-ons to go with your add-on there, to go with Titan Panel. That just shows you different information. Like, I've got durability, latency, gold, and location with the coordinates. And then up here, you can't see my cursor, but you can see the tooltips that are popping up. The buttons up there, those are just the buttons that are normally down at the bottom somewhere. I just put them up there because it was a good place to go. And what else we got? Uh, the name plates are threat plates. It's tidy plates with the threat plate add-on plug-in type thing. It's like an again, it's an add-on for an add-on. 
and it's really meant for tanking because it'll show you when like when you lose aggro you can make it where it changes the shape and changes the color like gets really big and uh, maybe makes a sound or something but it just makes it really obvious when you lose aggro on a mob and or like it'll turn yellow when you're low on aggro and then it turns big and red when you lose aggro when you're tanking and then it works the opposite way when your DPS are heals um, so that I like it just makes them stand out they're nice and clean and simple that's really the goal here with all of that, I don't like my whole setup here. I just want things to be... Jeez, oh, really? I lost freaking tank again. Um, I just want it to be really simple and clean and easy to see. Because the default UI I really just don't... I don't like. It just... They've got too many graphical elements that just clutter everything up. And, you know, they do it so that it has its own distinctive style, but... Like, you'll see a lot of the newer MMOs coming out, they have much simpler and cleaner looking UIs. Because that's how a lot of people make their UI look in WoW. That's what people like. Beware. So, what else? Uh, the ability, ability buttons, ability bars at the bottom is a uh, bartender. It's a pretty standard one. It's very widely used. Just lets you put them anywhere you want on the screen. You can make these bars as long or as short as possible, or as short as you want. And just gives you a lot of customization there. I think you can change the size of them too, the size of the actual buttons. And the cast bar is quartz. It's another major popular one makes your cast bar nice and huge. You can also do lots of other stuff with it. It can give you lots of other information, but um, like it'll show, see incinerate here, chaos bolt, it shows what your target is casting. And I think we're actually, we may actually pull this off. We, we wiped once, which you can see by my stack of determination here. But then we lost like half the raid and got a whole bunch of new people. So we're doing a little bit better. I'm definitely not doing all that well. How, how well am I doing? Healing down here. Let me just stop healing to check my meters real quick. I'm number three. It's not too bad. You know, don't don't look at the actual numbers. We'll just, we'll just say I'm number three. Uh, what else? I use chatter for the chat box and the only reason I use an add-on for the chat box is so I can put it at the very bottom of the screen. You used to be able to do that with the default chat box and then in some patch they just broke it and just never fixed it as far as I know where you just couldn't move the chat box all the way to the bottom so it wouldn't stay in my little black bar here. It's ridiculous. So I have the add-on for that. I, I don't think it really does anything that the normal chat box doesn't do other than that. Oh, I'm running out of mana here. Just pop all these cooldowns. So... And then I use... You know, I have DBM, of course, for raiding. That's what... If you haven't ever used DM, maybe you're, you're wondering, like, what all the crazy sound bites are and all the the trumpets with the blue text that's just like just, just tells you it tells you everything really i don't think things like dbm should exist i i think it's ridiculous that there's this add-on that you pretty much have to have for any kind of serious rating and it's probably going to be required even for like super casual raid groups just because it gives you such a huge advantage and they have to design the boss fights around it because it's so widely used it's just like why even why even allow that? Why not just incorporate that into the fight? But it is what it is. And I'm out of mana again and don't have any cooldowns left. There's one. Okay. This fight's terrible because you you have to dispel so much that you just run out of mana. I'm also not using a flask. I probably should have done that. Alright, let's stay on track. Uh I don't know. Are there any like I use Mogget. That's not really a UI add-on. It's just something that's really nice for transmog that shows you all the models in the game. It shows you where to get them so that you can 
go give me a transmog your stuff. It's really nice. And like you mouse over any any gear in the game other than white quality gear for some reason. And it'll show your character wearing it. it. Shows you what it looks like. Which you can do anyway just by like control right clicking. Oh my gosh. Okay, we blow all the cooldowns. I didn't realize the fight was almost over. But that's good because we're almost done talking about add-ons. The only other things I have omen, which really isn't even necessary anymore, but what else am I going to do with that little hole if I don't have Omen there? And, of course, recount for DPS. Did we... are we screwing this up? Yeah. Guys, come on. Just kill the bosses. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, let's hero. Oh, somebody already heroed. Okay. We better not wipe right now. This is so stupid. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. We're really going <laughs> to... It's going to be the saddest ending to an ad... <laughs> Here's all my add-ons. Here, look, watch me wipe an LFR. Come on. Oh my gosh. Come on, you guys. This can't be real. This can't be real life. I'm out of mana. Hit the one with the health. Hit the one with all the health. Come on. <laughs> well, I got... Got all the mana <laughs> uh, cooldowns back. Ah, it's freaking poison. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is going on forever. We're gonna hit the berserk. We've got three minutes. Surely we can do this in three minutes. Hit the one with the health. Hit the one with all the health. Kill him. Kill him. Oh my gosh, kill him. Come on, come on, come on, do the thing. Okay. Okay, didn't get any secrets of the Empire. I'm never gonna get my cloak. <laughs> I like I like how this just devolved into me raging. Okay, what did I get? What did I get into? I mean, what did I get from? There we go. Gold! Alright, I was hoping for 31 gold and 18 motes of harmony. Alright, so those are my add-ons. I think that's all of them that matter. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.